The starting point for our customers to transform or automate their processes is the SAP Signavio Business Process Transformation Suite. Here, they can analyze, manage, and govern their processes end to end. In the following example, I would like to improve the leads to cash process. With SAP Signavio Process Insights, our customers can analyze all processes of an ECC or S4HANA system within 24 hours. Let's look at the innovation recommendations tailored to the results of my analysis. SAP Build Process Automation can improve this process in many ways, but today I will show you how to automate managing credit blocks on sales orders. In SAP Signavio, I navigate to the order to cash process and look at the investigations that have been created by a process analyst. I can see the different process flows a sales order can take in the system, and currently, sales orders are blocked automatically because they exceed the credit limit, and this affects our top line negatively. So I will configure an action trigger to leverage a process in SAP Build Process Automation, which automates unblocking sales orders that have been exceeding a credit limit. Each process instance will be triggered through an API call, fetching the sales order ID from SAP Signavio. And in the first step, the sales order details are fetched from the back end. Then, based on these details, the approver is determined through business rules and a notification is sent to the corresponding users. And in case of an approval, the sales order will be unblocked directly in SAP S4HANA and an email is sent to the customer to notify them. In the case of a rejection, the customer will also be informed via an email. Now, I will configure the action trigger in SAP Signavio. So I provide a name and then select the SAP Signavio process containing the sales orders. I then select default view and I want to search the system for credit blocked sales orders on a daily basis. I then proceed to define the rules for the action trigger through a signal query. I instruct the system to search for sales orders that have the status blocked and to extract their information, including the overdue duration. The action type will be SAP PA Unblock Orders, and this functionality comes from the SAP Build Process Automation tenant. I select Sales Orders, activate the Notify Repeatedly checkbox, and proceed to create the action trigger. The trigger has been created successfully here and hasn't been executed so far, but it is also possible to run the action trigger manually. As a manager of the sales organization, I enter my inbox and see immediately that there are multiple tasks waiting for me. I review the data associated with a particular sales order and can then approve or reject the credit limit increase request. And in case of approval, the credit limit will be automatically increased in the SAP S4HANA system.